This is Linda for you and today I would like to show you how to craft this cute little dragonfly or this adorable butterfly. All you need is some wire. Maybe your parents have some garden wire that they're using for their plants outside. You will need some beads. These are made of wood, but you can also take some that are made of plastic or any other material. Just the ones that you have and the ones that you like. And they can be any shape. They can be very big or very small. Doesn't matter at all. And last but not least, you will need some transparent paper. If you only have normal paper at home, that is also fine. You can color it and you can also use it for the dragonfly and the butterfly. First you have to take some of the wire and you cut it off in the end. And now you start with your first bead. You pull it over until it's here in the middle and then you have to bend it all up. Of course you can ask your parents or any other adult for help, that's not a problem. Then you twist it a little bit, so it's down here and then you put these two together. Not too easy, so don't forget to ask for help. And you hold them very tight together here in the end and then you can carry on putting on other beads. Make sure that you go through both of them like this. And then you take the next one and make sure both of the wires go into one of the beads. And you just do that over and over. Just take the colors that you like not important at all. It's just important that you like your dragonfly or your butterfly. And you can already make a decision which one you would like to do. Of course I will show you both versions. We add one more bead and then I carry on. Okay. So to make sure that your beads will not fall off the wire again, you just bend it over a little bit. So it will look like the feelers of your little animal, like this, all right. You can put it to the side for a second, because now I will show you how to do the wings for the butterfly. Either you can use two colors or you can use one, that's up to you. I will show it to you as one now. You just take some of the transparent paper and then you start folding it like this. Just a little bit, then you turn it all the way around and fold it like this. Make sure that you press it down very hard so it doesn't flip out of it again. And this is what you do until the very end. Take your time, make it look very nice and firm. Then when you hold it in the middle and you're opening the sides, you can see it just looks like the wings on the butterfly. So you open it on both sides, you bend it a little bit and everything you have to do now is to glue it on here. Either you take some glue for that or you can also take some more of the wire that we had before and you just add it onto it so it will look like a very cute butterfly in the end. For the dragonfly you will also use, need to use the transparent paper but you can also use the other paper as I said before and you will need someone maybe to help you to draw this template onto it. Then you just cut it out with your scissors or you prickle it, that's also possible. But if you want to prickle the transparent paper, please make sure that you're very, very careful so it does not torn. Okay. And when you cut this, you can also just take some glue 
and put it on to the beads that are on your dragonfly already. Then you press it on, you let it dry, and then you're done. If you like to, you can add a little yarn or a little string and hang it up somewhere so your butterflies and your dragonflies can fly through the room. I hope you enjoy crafting it. And I will see and hear you in the next video. This was Linda for you. Goodbye. Thank you.